What's up, you when I saw Toronto, Canada is going down. The African King of Comedy is coming November 18th. Be there, you mother sucker. Urgh. Sunday, November 18th at the Danforth Music Hall. Wesley Hype presents the World Cup of Comedy. The Juice Cup, Africa versus the West Indies. Featuring the African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. I got on the plane, the parlor asked me for directions. I said, go up, Manasaka. Live from Jamaica, Blacker Ellis. Plus, Tricks, J Martin, Mark Trinidad, and Eddie King. Sunday, November 18th, The Juice Cup, Africa versus the West Indies. Tickets at all Ticketmaster outlets. Visit www.juicecomedytoronto.com From the South, East, West, and North Africa, Africa. This is the African Groove, Groove. Groove. MC Bunday, MC Bunday on G987 FM, on G987 FM, 7 FM, 7 Here we go, hey, hey, Azonto, 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 Azonto. Don't hate on my dance, Tatiana. I know, I know, I know you want to be like me and my Azonto, you know, because I do the Azonto like I do the Azonto so well. Good morning, you're logged into the African Groove Show each and every Sunday, starting next week, of course, it'll be from 12 noon to 2 p.m., but right now it's 11 o'clock, or just after 11 o'clock. If your clock is saying... If your watch is saying 12 o'clock right now, something is wrong, okay? Move it back. <laughs> You're supposed to move the clocks back uh, at 2 a.m. Uh, this morning, so... Uh I hope you did. Good morning, Chad. What's going on in morning. entertainment news? Good morning. Okay, so Cameroon filmmaker premieres a new film. John DeMello launches a major filmmaking workshop in Ghana. And we'll talk about the 17th annual Mobile Awards in Liverpool, UK. All right, that's what's up. And uh, while we're talking about that, I have uh, a pair of tickets to give out to the World Cup of Comedy Juice Cup featuring comedians uh, representing Africa and the West Indies. And, I mean, this is an African show, right? Right. So, if it's an African show, it's only right to get the main the main guy on the phone to hear what he has to say for Africa. And he only has one word that when he says it, everybody will know who it is. So, good morning, sir. What's going on, motherfucker? <laughs> Michael Blackson on the phone right now. Marasaka, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good, man. You know, I'm looking forward to coming to Toronto. It's been so long ago since I performed in Toronto. Last time I was there, I think I hosted a, a African pageant. Exactly. Um, it's uh, Miss Africanada. I was actually there as well. Wow. Yeah, it's been a while. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. You know, I hope somebody get me some fufu and some peanut butter stew while I'm out there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Only you know, Michael Blacks. <laughs> I love Canada, man. man. Canada is actually a great place. It's, it's like a big melting pot, and it's like a big world piece. It's like everybody from different parts of the world lives there. Every time I come to Canada, man, I feel right at home. So I'm looking forward to November 18th coming out there and doing this big comedy show. All right, that's uh, what's up. So, Michael, I see you. Um, you know, for those who don't know, Michael, where, where exactly from Africa you're from? You know, I don't. I I, I just want to. I was born in West Africa. I don't like to say in what country because it's like people from Liberia feel like I was born in Liberia. People from Ghana feel like I'm born in Ghana. You know, Nigeria feel like I'm Nigerian. So I'm, I like to leave that mysterious and, you know, I like to represent the whole continent of Africa, especially West Africa. All right, you know, I know I sound real crazy, but, you know, those who know me personally know where I was born. But I spent a lot of my life in those three countries, Liberia, Ghana, and Nigeria. And, I, you know, I have three passports from those countries. So I represent all of them right now, mother. So that's, nah, <laughs> that's what's up. Michael Blackson on the phone right now. Michael, where you at right now? Because you're all over the place. Uh, uh, you know, we're all over the place right now. Where you at right now? Right now, I'm laying in my own bed, man. It's, you know, it feels really good to be laying in my bed. My house is right in the suburb part of Philadelphia. It's right outside of Philadelphia. Uh, you know, I've been preparing for this big trip. I'm going to Saudi Arabia tomorrow. I have a big show there for the wow. Saudi. Uh -huh. And, you know, so I've been home just relaxing and spending time with, with family members before I go out there. It's my second time going there this year. I was actually there. 
in um in February and they loved the show and they are bring me right back, you know, a few months later. So I'm looking forward to I'm excited um about it. Uh and then, you know, um from there I guess I'll be coming up to you to you guys when I come back. So hey, I'm we can't wait. We cannot wait to have you back here in Toronto. And uh, it's the World Cup of Comedies Juice Cup, and it's featuring comedians representing from Africa, including the infamous Michael Blackson, who's on the phone right now, competing against the comedians from the West Indies, including uh, the hilarious uh, Blacker Ellis, on Sunday, November the 18th, inside the Danforth Music Hall. It's hosted by uh, G987 FM's very own uh, Mark and Jem from the morning show. It's going to be crazy. Now, M- Michael, what... what 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 can you tell uh, the West Indian the West Indians comedians right now uh, about African comedy and what you'll be bringing in on that day? I'm gonna bring the fire, man. You know the, the West Indies gotta respect the Africans because you know we originated everything. We are the original black people. <laughs> the West Indies came from our blood, so they gotta respect us. I'm gonna show them who's king when I get out there on the 18th. So they better bring the heat. You know, African. Uh, I love. I have much respect for the West Indies. I've visited. I've actually performed in a lot of those places. You know, from Trinidad and, and to, from Trinidad to um, you know Jamaica. So um, the, the Bahamas, you know, I've been to those places and I perform. And you know, whenever I go to those islands or those West Indies, I feel like I'm at home. It's like the closest thing to Africa that you could get, you know. So we're almost like one, but on the 18th, we'll be comp- competing for who's okay, that, that was though. going to be my next question. There, that uh, you're sounding very nice right now. I hope that's <laughs> I hope that's not that what's happening on the 18th. Uh, uh, because in case you didn't know, I'm actually the coach for the African team. So <laughs> I, you know, I'm not taking any players lightly. I need Africa to step up and uh, you know show that uh, comedy originated from Africa, right? Well, they don't have to worry about that. Once Mike hits the stage, along with the rest of my teammates, we're going to show them who's the real king of comedy you know so i'm looking forward to it man that's what's up what else is going on with you michael i see you um uh, doing a lot of uh trips all over the world but what else is going on in terms of movies well, I've, been, I've been working on a few projects you know i um i have first of all, i have a you know to see me every week i have a youtube show you know i'm signed on the uh the channel of walter latham he was the creator of the kings of comedy um he has a you know youtube channel and i have a youtube show on there called black friday it comes out every, you know, midnight, Thursday, midnight, which is Friday morning. And you can, you can check me out. It's called Black Fridays on YouTube.com forward slash Walter Latham. All right. I'll just go on, just go up on Google and just hit up Black Friday and hit him, put in Michael Blackson. You know, I'm probably, I just shot my 18th show. So it's a great show. I just sit on the, most of the time I sit on my couch and I make fun of people, you know, different athletes, different entertainers. You know, I might do a couple of sketches. You know, I did one sketch where I show what may, um, um, what's the guy that came out of the closet recently? What's his name? Uh, oh, yeah, the, the music artist so who just came out, I remember. Right. I did a skit on him. I did a skit on the, being the first African, the first real black president because I'm a little bit darker than Barack. So I did a skit on being the first real black president. Uh, I did a oh, it's Frank Ocean, after. right? Frank Ocean. I did a skit on Frank Ocean. I did a, I did a skit. Did, one of the skit that hit it the most, which is actually one of my favorite ones, I did a skit on what goes on in Illuminati's office. You know, <laughs> and, um, I mean, I went out. It's really wild. My show, you know, is definitely not for kids. Go and watch it. <laughs> Black Friday. Um, the one I read, the, the last couple of shows that I did hit World Star Hip Hop, you know, got me about 400,000 views in about eight days. Wow. Um, yeah, I did a show on um, the last one I recently did. I did one on the new season of the NBA. I just made fun of different teams and who's going to do well. And then oh, the is that on? Uh, it, that's on uh, Black Friday as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on oh, Black I gotta Friday, check that out because I'm an NBA fan, so I gotta check that one out and see what's yeah, up with that. Well, if, you're, if you're an NBA fan, you're gonna love the one I did. I, the first one that hit World Star was the one I did on on the on the U.S. Olympic team. Remember when they beat Nigeria by like 83 oh, points? Oh, man, yeah, man. I got pissed off, and I went yeah, and me all too, man. the U.S. players. I destroyed all of them. <laughs> they, they actually have about a million hits, you know, on um, on Warstar Hip Hop. So if you check it out on Warstar Hip Hop, or check it out on the YouTube channel as well, you know, Michael Blackson. Black Friday. And, um, yeah, Black Friday is in the mother show. Wow. But besides that, you know, I had a boy, you know, I, I, I did one of those African movies a while back called My American Nurse 2. And, you know, oh, hey, guess what? 
Oh, guess what? That's why uh, Pascal was linking me up with you. Pascal Atuma was here in the studio, and he linked me up, and he was the producer of American Nurse too, right? Right, he was the producer. I recently did another one with Van Vicker. It's called um, The Mailman. It's going to be coming out very soon. Mm -hmm. What I like about that movie, I wanted to, you know, when they called me about doing it, I wanted to play like a different type of character, a character I haven't played ever, you know, um, and... I went, I told him for me to play this movie, I have to play a Liberian because I have a great Liberian accent. And they say, hey, Mike, if that's what it's going to take for you to be in this movie, that's what it's going to take. So I, I played a Liberian character in this movie surrounded by Nigerians. It was a great movie called The Mailman starring me and Van Vega. Uh, so look out for that very, very soon. I also did my own movie, which will be coming out sometime next year. One of my favorite movies in the world is Starface. Okay. Uh, Spoof of Scarface is called Coney Montana. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Just the title right there already yeah, cracking me up right now. Oh my goodness! This movie is hilarious. It's, you know, it's about a kid. You know, he, I guess he was a, a kid soldier for the infamous Coney Joseph Coney back when he was and he escaped out of Joseph Coney, made it to the United States. Still had a gangster mentality. You know, he dropped a taxi, and next thing you know, he's he's doing illegal things in his in, in America. Okay, in the original Scarface, the movie was about, you know, those guys dealing cocaine. But in this movie, in Coney Montana, we're dealing illegal booty shots because that's really big right now where all these women are getting all these fake butts, you know. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm illegally in the, I'm in the illegal booty shot business and, you know, and I, so I had to go get a girl that had a really big butt to play the, the main girl. <laughs> so I, got, I got Delicious from Flavor of Love to play. Wow. That's all yeah, I have to say to that. I can I can elaborate on that. Wow, I'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're locked into the African Groove Show, and we got Michael Blackson, the African King of Comedy, on the line right now, all the way in Philly, Philly. I love the way you represent Philly, man. You represent Philly more than the the cheese. What what's that cheese? Uh, famous cheese. Um, Philadelphia. The Philly cheese. Cheese steak. Yeah, oh. cheese steak. You represent Philly more than the well, cheese steak. You know steak. what it is. I, you know, I mean, I represent Africa first. Now Philly is like. My home now, and, and the thing about it, I don't think if I, if I never moved to Philadelphia, I would ever do comedy. When I first came to the States, you know, we moved, we was living in, like, Newark, New Jersey, and it was rough in Newark. Like, you, you know, my mom couldn't get a job, you know, we lived in a shelter home, and then we found out that, you know, Philly has, you know, life is a lot cheaper in Philly, so she had some people in Philly, so we moved to Philly, and we moved to Philly, we was able to, like, find a little, uh, rent, uh, like, a little row home for, like, Three hundred some dollars a month, and I had my own bedroom, and then I, I was able to find a job, and you know, it, Philly kind of like brought us together. So Philly, I got a lot of love for Philadelphia because it really changed my life, and you know, and it brought out the funniness out of me because when I first came to the states, I was the joke where the, you know the kids make fun of me, yeah. you know, and I, I went to my came to the states in the late eighties where. You know, it was all about light complexion and Mike and the DeBarge and, you know, Michael Jackson and this and that. And, and it, you know, I didn't fit in. You know, kids made fun of me. Then it took a while for me to get comfortable with myself to actually make fun of other people. And Philadelphia made all that possible for me. So I got, I rev, you know, I, I talk a lot about, you know, being raised in Philly and stuff like that. You know, but the thing about it, if I was, if I was not an African, I wouldn't be who I am. So. Big ups to the greatest continent of all time wow. in the whole world where everybody originated from, you know, the great continent of Africa. You know, a special shout out to, of course, the West Part. West Side, you motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, Michael, I appreciate you calling in, man. Once again, Michael Blackson on the line uh, right now. And we're talking about the World Cup of Comedies, Juice Cup, featuring uh, comedians representing Africa, including, of course, the man on the line right now, Michael Blackson, competing against um, uh, comedians from the West Indies, including the hilarious Blacker Ellis. It's going down on Sunday, November the 18th, uh, inside the Danforth Music Hall, hosted by Mark and Jem from the morning show, Rio on G987 FM. Uh, any final word uh, to the listeners, uh, to all the Africans? Let them know why they should come out on November 18th, Michael. Well, you want to come out. If you don't come out, you're going to miss probably one of my few time of going to Toronto. I haven't, I haven't really done a real comedy show in Toronto in many, many years. So I don't know when it will happen again. So you don't want to miss the 18th of November. Be there. If you don't have your tickets by now, get your tickets, Morasoka. We'll get it because I'm going to be in the house. It's going to be crazy. 
You know, you can follow me on Twitter. I know you want to wrap, you know, to see what I'm doing each time. Follow me on Twitter at Michael Blackson. You know, it took me a while to get my name verified because it was I had so many parody accounts of people with these fake Michael Blackson that now <laughs> the real one is there. It's verified. The blue check mark. So you know, you can <laughs> I know. And you're so African. Like, like there's a blue check mark right there. <laughs> it's <laughs> verified 100. percent But uh, on a serious note, you need to follow me. I've been tweeting at you for 10 years you now. You know what? What is your Twitter? My Twitter is at MC Bonde V O A. So that's M C B O N D E. All right, send me a tweet and I'm going to look for it. Um, all right. In all right, your millions I, of tweets. You're going to look for it in your I'm millions. I'm going to look for it. Is there like a certain picture? Is there like a picture of you wearing the. I mean, there's a, the, there's a picture, yes. There is a picture of me wearing a Manchester United jersey uh, that's written my name at the back and number 17. Tweet me right now and I'm going to look for it. All right, that's what's up, man. Right away. And Thank follow- you very much. I love Toronto. I'm coming. You get it ready. West Indies is going down, you mother suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Blackson, I appreciate you. Have a great day. We'll see you soon, all right? Thank you very much. Thank all right, you. man. Bless. Sunday, November 18th at the Danforth Music Hall. Wesley Hype presents the World Cup of Comedy. The Juice Cup. Africa versus the West Indies. Featuring the African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. I got on the plane. The pilot asked me for directions. I said, go up, man. I suck Live from Jamaica. Blacker Ellis. Plus, Tricks, J. Martin, Mark Trinidad, and Eddie King. Sunday, November 18th. The Juice Cup. Africa versus the West Indies. Tickets at all Ticketmaster outlets. Visit www.juicecomedytoronto.com